Hello everybody, welcome back to episode 3 of Darkwood. We just successfully survived the night, which was nice. Um, we also just recently picked up a second perk, which is wildlife no longer really is and hates us all that much. What's the goal now? Well, I'm thinking we're gonna try and go to the chicken lady, which I can't remember. I think she's southeast from here. I don't know if I have notes on that. Uh, no, it's just that, no. Journal. Entry two, I can barely hold my pencil. I don't know what is happening with me, uh, to me with my body, blah, 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 blah. Wolf knows a person. Find her close to her cottage in the s to the south from my hideout. So that's where we're going. We're going to the south. And hopefully things are gonna go okay. We'll see. So we are on day two. Not quite sure how it's gonna go. A little nervous, no doubt. This place is, this game is just a nerve wracking kind of game. But so far, I'd say we've done pretty well. We can only hope it gets better from here. There goes that bug. One day I'll get that bug. Chicken lady house. All right, here we are. So, we've, after a day of scavenging and trying to survive, we finally came across what we were looking for. Looks like it's been barricaded up pretty well. Hello? Could just jump through the window. Let's check the house door first. Chicken lady? The wooden floor is sticky with chicken feces and feathers. Is that her? Chicken lady. The old lady looks at me with suspicion. She holds her chickens uh, close to her. I hope you haven't come for my dearies, you bastard! She puts one of the chickens close to her ear while maintaining eye contact with you. After a while, she eases up. I've seen a lot. I survived the wars, but the things here, God help me. There is no place for chickens, young man. Is she turning like to a tree? She's kind of got a weird look going on. Again, very creepy looking. I think her hand's bloody too. Also, I'm not sure if the chicken's dead. Gossip. Thank the heavens for our blessed sow. The poor thing is a little sickly lately, but she's got more heart than all of us. It's only thanks to her that we have something to eat these days. All right, well, let's show her the dog tag. Where did you get this? The old lady is unnerved. The chickens are silent. I can feel tension in the air. Holy mother, it's Janix Plate, my brother. A few days ago, he got angry. I told him, stay. You're uneducated. You don't understand. But he did not listen and went looking for this man. Okay. Okay. The old lady puts a crumpled photo in my hands. Take it! Janik went to see him. Do you understand? He never came back. Find him. Find him and bring him back. My poor Janik. The sadness is interrupted by a sound of out, uh, by a sound of an out of tune violin. My lord, it's the creature again! I hope he and the violin of his rotten hell! The woman's face turns red and she begins to scream. Get the hell off my lawn, you bastard! Okay, is a creature outside? What the hell is going on? I'm gonna loot the shit out of this area first. That noise is definitely creepy. I like how she has like one room she's barricaded. Bet you she has the key and I bet you I could kill her to take it. Alright. Let's go see what this fucking creature is. Hello? Hello? Are you a bad guy? Alright, he's not a bad guy. Oh, God, what is wrong with him? Uh, I hope you don't mind my music. You, you t t t don't look like you're fr from around here. M maybe it's f for the best. The l locals don't ap appreciate m music. The boy is clearly avoiding my sight. I'm p p pl 
flame, the p pretty lady inside. Uh, he, 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 he even wrote a few s songs for her. One of the strings on his mask falls off together with his ear. Ew! The boy sticks it back like it's nothing happened. It's so p pretty. I haven't s seen anything like th this before. The boy clumsily fiddles with the dog tag with his overgrown hands. My m mom l likes th things l like these. When I'm all g g grown up, I'll buy her s something p beautiful too. Okay, well, let's try to show him the photo. Oh, you, you want to see the d d doctor too? You know, s since you're here, m m maybe you c could help me. I c could g give you m my p place in queue if you w would h help me get back my v violin. The boy is excited at the very thought of the instrument. Every string on his face is tingling with excitement. Oh, damn. My mother there was supposed to g g give it to me when I was old enough. I'm p p big now, but m m my parents are very, very a angry with me. I want to ap ap apologize, but I'm scared they'll yell at me. I made my mommy s something pretty. Will you take it to her? I'm sh sure that if sh she s sees it, she will st stop being angry and g give me back my v violin. With shaking hands, the boy hands me the drawings. You'll f find my parents n not very far to the southwest of here. B but you n need to be c careful. It's really st stinky out there these days my ma mom mommy used to h hide the vol violin behind the wardrobe all right well fucking creeper now we got a job to go help him with something then we can go see the doctor can we get inside this building if i can get inside this building i will and then i think i'll head back to the house and try and spend the night there I don't know how much time we've actually wasted. You know, that's the thing. Can I not actually get in here? Where are we on the map? We're here. And to the southwest is this area that he was telling us about. So I guess we could go look. Let's go take a peek. I mean, worst comes to worst, we can swing back towards home. Once it starts getting really awkward out. I wonder if we could crash in the ladies, the chicken lady's place. Probably could. What? Location found anti-tank gun. Okay, well, let's drop some stuff here. Let's take the gun. Let's drop the stick. See, I don't know if I want to... I don't know how badly I want to actually go around this way. What? What? You know what? Let's head back. We'll come back tomorrow. <coughs> what? 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 I had to sneeze. I'm sorry. Don't get mad. Time to go. The fuck is that? No room for that. What is this? Oh, this is a chicken lady. Chicken lady. Coming in. I'm sorry. I could kill your chickens, you know. Hey, boy. I gotta go. Sorry. Don't fucking follow me like a creepy ass freaking I don't even know what. Time to head back. 
I don't want to get caught out in the dark. That actually frightens the shit out of me. If I die, actually, I'll probably end up turning permadeath off. Because it seems like this game's a little bit more story driven than I initially anticipated. Right, relax, relax, catch your breath. It's alright. We also need to go see Wolf at some point, I think. I'm gonna take a look at my journal and try and find out where Wolf is. You see the light is slowly starting to change. Okay. I'm trying to figure out where the best place to hole up is gonna end up being. I still think this will be the best place to hole up. Um, let's take a look at our journal here. Uh, wolf, wolf, wolf. Uh, we should not be very far south. Okay, so he's southwest from my hideout, and he's not far. So he's probably over here somewhere. We just barricaded that up. You can hear the you can hear the noise. It's very silent, hilly, and the noise it's making, which I like a lot. Not enough nails. Shit. Basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I uh, turn the generator on tonight. A couple gasoline things. Is there anything nearby that I didn't loot yet? No, it's all searched. Okay, so with the generator on, <clears throat> we should be good. I'm going to squeeze into this area here. Go ahead and block this off. Make sure I really don't want any light getting out. That's kind of my biggest concern. So that should be good right there. And hopefully we'll be alright for the rest of the evening. Let's go take it. We gotta get ready to drink out of the well though. Um, another thing I want to do too is actually we can create some bandages I think. Let's, oh we want to set up that bear trap too. At least I do. Go ahead and set the bear trap up there. Okay, hopefully that'll help. Now we wait for this to kick in so we can drink from the well and not die. Come on, well. Come on, it's getting creepy out. Yeah, 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 I get it. See you later. This stool is probably not going to do much. Put it there. Okay, let's hide for a bit. I'm going to go into crafting mode and make a bandage so we can heal up the rest. Okay. Heal up. And freaking hope and pray we don't die tonight. So we got light going on in there. Uh, that's going to kind of give away, actually, I think a lot. I don't know if the monsters hunt with that in mind. Uh, with, like, being able to see light and stuff, but... Hopefully the bear trap... You know what? The bear trap would probably serve better in here. Oh, God. You can hear him. Alright, we're almost fully healed from that bandage, which is nice. I don't think I can make another one. Nope. Gonna put that lamp up against the door. Don't really expect it to help me too much. But you never know. Ooh, ooh.
What? What? Oh no. Oh no. Ah. Back up. Play it like Zomboy Mathis. Ow. Ow. Fuck. Oh no. I died. Shit. Okay. Oh, and then the screen went black. Good. Good. Well, wrap this episode up here, guys. I will, uh, I'll be back tomorrow with more. Uh, I'm gonna turn off permadeath, just so I can live through the nights, I think. Just so I can see a bit more of the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That scared me a little bit. As soon as I heard the, the creaking of the furniture, I definitely freaked out a little bit. But either way, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.